to the ward and see if Wallace knows what this is. I found a thing. What did I find? Alien device. Caliper isn't quite the right term for this instrument, but magic wands seem to be a fantastic term. The measurements it makes are performed at a subatomic level in units that don't even exist in human tongues. Oh, that's from the survival kit. I got some new armor. Technician. Uh, it's heavy. Looks cool, though. Did we say Wallace was in need of something? Is Wallace going to unlock a new class for us? I don't think I've got any What's It crystals. I might have one. Yeah, I've got one. Let's, let's see if it's a uh, I think it said Wallace. Frame rate's still not great. Goodbye, traveler. Oops. Travel. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is. Drazir Caliper. So that's gonna unlock some kind of new archetype Don't for us. Time. Whatever that's gonna be. Yeah, I literally would never have found that if it weren't for the fact that um like four or five of those robot enemies and one of those big bulbous whatever the hell shoggoth looking things hadn't charged out of that exact spot uh let's go to the palace courtyard yeah so real kind of elden rings coliseum looking vibes here um, I don't know whether I should do this on medic. I wonder whether I should actually try and limit the frame rate to 60. That 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 might give us a, a more solid for the most part, but you never know. Pretty that is a... pretty. Yeah. I don't trust this place. You've used that voice line before. I guess it makes sense. I assume this... No, doesn't want the buy and portal key. Something's missing. No shit. I guess we've got two... Masks? Yeah, it looks like we've got two halves of something here. This reminds me a lot of... Multiple things, actually. It reminds me of the Academy at Raya Lucaria. It reminds me of Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. I can't remember which of the Legacy of Cain games, but it's got that kind of gothic feel to it.
And obviously, it reminds me of... Bloodborne. Oh, elevator. Going down, apparently. No, I didn't. Uh... Oh, good. What are you? Uh, kind of Diablo-esque angels, actually. Ooh, this is cool. I can't say I'm surprised by it being cool, but... Cool it is. Yeah. Opens from the other side. Yeah, I'm liking this architecture. Oh. Oh shit! There's a guy right there. Uh, there's a lot of weird fiery stuff going on. Ow. Oh, I am in fact in trouble. Uh, I just used my skill. It's a hidden portal. Sweet. I didn't actually read the medic abilities. Uh, are we losing? Yeah, we are. Are you guys okay up there? They're shooting at something. Move them to it. Uh, hello. Bad news. Reminds me of the puppets. Forged iron, black tar, relic dust. That looks like a door. But apparently it isn't one. Don't know where I'm going. Uh oh. Uh, he teleports. Ow. Oh shit. Bloop. You are dead. Well. Well. That didn't uh, take very long, did it? Ah, oh, why am I taking so much damage? Unfortunately, we regenerate a lot, um, but still. Also, I, I had a ring effect kick in during that fight, and I'm not entirely sure what it was.
Yeah, I, I feel like these voice lines are triggering A, too often, and B, at the wrong times. Oh shit, they are actually gargoyles. But not all of them. But our summons don't seem to understand that uh, they're hidden. So that's a nice gonna... Give that away. Huh? Okay, we tried that door. Yeah, what ring actually am I wearing that could have procced then? Oh, was it the the recovery ring? Because it must have been. That's the only one that procs on killing stuff. Interesting. That wall... is apparently a door. I suppose because this is an overworld area, technically, isn't it? Technically. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, he hits hard. Fortunately, I have lured him into a death trap. Ah! That's one of the masks for outside the front of the castle. Says Demogen confidently. <laughs> Ahem. performance just isn't good no consider on capping it that So this is running at 80 in ultra performance mode. To be fair, it actually still looks pretty good. chest right there we could leap onto that bookcase hold on can we aha ah another Doesn't need that. Take that, books. Okay, well, at least we know that we can get... Somewhere down there. Huh. 
cracked grey health rate plus four. You know, I have to wonder how much of the uh, the performance is an issue because of recording as well. Obviously, I'm playing and recording on the same computer. That and the fact that, you know, it's Unreal Engine 5, which is a new engine. Ah... Uh, uh, we've got a buff. There's no way of. T oh, no, there we are. Fay cleanse clears all status effects and blights and increases health regen. Dominator. That's me. I'm all about the dominate. <laughs> Ahem. Oh, shit. Nice. Level up. Medic. So we get just 2.5 increase to all damage increases with the medic level. Okay. So there is a point to having medic as your, your kind of class even if you're not in a group because it gets a big damage bonus I assume it would get that as our secondary as its secondary no if we had it as a secondary Uh. Whoa. I tell you what, I'm really glad I've got the uh, the summoner stuff. These flying boys are definitely more beneficial, I think, than the the big heavy one. No? I don't know if there are going to be kind of illusionary walls and stuff. Because there were, were there not, a couple in Remnants. An elevator there. They attack fast. Glad that's over. And from hiding. So I guess I should look at the ceilings, shouldn't I? That would be the sensible move. Ooh. Deposition of Venus the Butcher, unabridged. This is the deposition of Venus the Butcher as taken by Advocate Savan. This version has not been submitted to court due to the fact that it is inadmissible. It is recorded here for posterity only. I am not reading that. I feel like the law stuff in the game is just a little bit too long-winded. That's the way we came. Uh, 
Hi. Uh, okay. He's got the same wings as the... It's the hostile guys, but he's... What are you doing? Nice catch. New quest item, Magic Quill. It doesn't matter what ink is used. The magic lies in the implements, not the medium. The portal... The portal could be drawn in ink or water or blood. It could be even carved into stone. Is this going to get us through that... Hmm. Ah, and there's one here to show us what it does. Testing. Huh. And I guess we try it. Council chamber. These guys, some have we got anything to replace our long rifle yet? I don't think we have, have we? No. Uh, I might replace the space crabs, however. <laughs> hmm. This isn't looking good. W why would you say that? you are not of the fey nor of the denizens of this new world send it away though fey law is not for foreigners on the contrary oneril though it's rules differ for fey and non fey law applies to all huh. within the one true king's domain come petitioner step up to the podium hail straight I am Savon. Hello. Of the one true king. You look kind of nasgally. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the, well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? Uh, I am a human from Earth. Neither Fey nor Dran. How very curious. Tell us more about this earth. Oh, Niall, you waste our time. The Fey have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oneril speaks true. Please, Petitioner, briefly state your business before the council. I'm looking for entities of great power. And why would you seek such entities? Ugh, how conveniently vague. If you find such magical solutions, do return to us. Uh huh. For the Fey will have better use for them than you. What he means, Petitioner, is that the only power that remains in this kingdom is political. Nothing more. Interesting. There is the imposter. <laughs> yes, 
The imposter may be exactly what you seek, but if so, we cannot help. We have troubles of our own first. Can I help with them? You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fae have far more important concerns than you before us. A bit snobby, aren't you? Hold a moment, Onoril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fae presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might... Huh. They have a traitor in their midst. Where we have failed. Will you help us? Sure. Old, I do not accept. This is a foreigner. Uh-huh. Mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Onoril, that our job is to make the law? Huh? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have volunteered. I would have liked on. the speaker name the law, in the so subtitles. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fey and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, uh -huh. his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Faelin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course... We all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. <laughs> if you can find any evidence tying one of us to this child, Interesting. Imposter, twins? Justice might be done. It's always twins. Enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step. And a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fae. It means you are not Fae, and your life is easily forfeit. Great. Please, Oniril. Mm. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation. Sounds like we're going to get to make a choice here, which again will add to the replayability. We do not. This fast does nothing. Peace. Oneril, the law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by... Mm -hmm. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse uh -huh. to remove me from the council. And you do not wish to hold half the council's power yourself, Oneril. <laughs> you cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless... Stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So is this any evidence you two worlds that have been meshed together? Which we have cast upon ourselves. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone huh. pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified, tainted, how do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Unreal, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Huh. Not everyone seeks power. That's a good point, though. Yeah. Very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one. <laughs> I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. Wonderful. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power. Freedom and power. Freedom is an interesting one. We only said what we wanted to hear. What pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Niall? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. Mm. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any 
who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed. But our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This, this is quite interesting. Guilt, I like me a little bit of political guilt. intrigue. How is the king put to sleep? We do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Mm. Were those not your words? Ugh. They were, indeed, and the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no more... But he's not dead, is he? And many have tried. What can you tell me about the one true king? The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force. <laughs> both in our world... And our life. A certain weariness. He was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, mm, these voice lines, lines were recorded in isolation. Just based on that delivery. Indeed. It would seem his life is more entwined with our world than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Hmm. Why can't you wake him? Oh, of course. How could we have been so blind? The genius uh, of this fault was. So if we ask why, not why have you not? The fate together. Please, Onoril. The question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger, is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen. We suspect the imposter's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. Which is why we must identify which of you is the conspirator here. What can you tell me about the imposter? They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fae. Nor those of us who serve the Fae. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The imposter's plan should never have been carried out. If all three of you agree he was wrong, then does the conspirator need to be found? So it would seem. We cannot function like this, stranger. If we cannot root out the traitor, then this council remains impotent. I should get As going. you will, stranger. Should you find evidence, though, bring it before us. Okay. Interesting. So we've got a, a very... Oh. This is glass. I thought it was water. It ain't. Okay. Um, I was going to make a point and I've forgotten what it was. Oh yes, the, the the voice acting, the back and forth between those characters would have been... In a couple of places, it was clear. At least I think it was clear that the voice lines were recorded in isolation. And the problem with that is that sometimes, you know, in speech, the intonation, you know, the cadence, the rhythm of how we talk follows on from what other people have said and how they have said it. And it, it was clear in a couple of cases there that uh, it, it, it didn't quite match up. I thought that was somebody with a balloon at first glance. Something really weird with the fire in this area. I am intrigued by it. Looks like there's another... Another door up here. Ah, uh, cracked mirror. Ah, way back. Okay.
Yeah, this, this is a proper kind of Soulsy style cathedral esque thing. All of the mirrors have been smashed. Uh... Oh, hello. These uh, spikes don't actually seem to do... Uh-oh. Excuse me? Okay, we've got like a sorcery style guy. Holy hell. Holy hell. Hmm. Huh. So we've got another one of those statues to help us out with health regen and blessings. Interesting. Put rings on their fingers, tie a ribbon around them. Speculation. That's over. Yeah, I I feel like there needs to be an option to turn down the the quantity of those voice lines, or ideally just turn them off entirely because they don't seem to be procking at the right times. Oh, I've just thought. I bought the sword. Is it a sword? I don't even know. It's a dagger from the uh, the blood fender. Yeah, seems all right. Weak spot hundred. I'll put the hammer back on. I'm so tired of that voice line. Yeah, the, the desperately needs to be. Yeah, nobody talks this much. <laughs> Not even me. I think uh, they just saved me from something dropping down from the ceiling. I do like the statue in this place. The, the, the general architecture and stuff is very nice. And I do like this black kind of marble floor. Yeah, 
the the things that we say aren't proportional to what we're actually doing and i feel like it was in from the ashes Yeah, that that. Where do you come from? Jesus. Okay, I'm dead. Um. Big executioner guy. Don't even know which way. That way. Come and get some. Yeah. That was painful. Oh, they can get over the top. Great. More bad news. Must remember to keep looking up. I suppose some of these statues could come to life as well, couldn't they? Like that, in fact. I feel like if I had the dog, the dog would be taking aggro a little bit better off us. Right, we're going to get that. Tell you what. Right, are we going to get the big guy again? Because it's randomised. Oh, hello. Now, if I'm going to fight...
They took a good chunk. They've got some real distance on that lunge as well. Do not want to get trapped. New perk, Benevolence. Holy hell. Oh, Holy hell. Uh, what does Benevolence do? Increases relic efficacy and heals nearby allies for 30% of the total healing value. Okay. And we're not using our relics all that much because... We've actually got quite a lot of healing. This is just going to link. Yeah. Oh. Let's grab that. While I'm looking at our ammo reserves it's over um interesting not a readable book Summons hit, they hit hard. Glad that's over. And the regen from this ring is great. Does this just link up? Yes, it does. Keeping my bearings. You've seen how easily I get lost if you've watched any of the previous episodes in this playthrough. messy as it might be. I see you, purple chest. Holy hell. Holy hell. Looks like we're going down into there. Hmm. Even fairly close up, those candle flames look pretty decent. Very close quarters down here. of amplification no that's the gunslingers one we'd already got that hadn't we oh so we got it again that's why we got a chunk of scrap interesting that we're getting repeats already and in a different zone 
because that's not how it used to work. It used to be in a specific world. Hello? Ah, that's for the statue. The one in the courtyard that I said we'd have to wrap a ribbon around the hands. Sometimes I'm pretty good at this guesswork. It's rare, but sometimes. I'm assuming this will loop us back round so we can get to it more easily, but yeah, we're just going around in a big circle. It was over there, I think. Um, uh, we'll come back to that. That's a cool locking mechanism. Right, so to get to, I mean it has to be this way, because the other way is the council chamber. We've got our regen statue, there, here it is, we're definitely getting some, uh, some hiccuping. Somebody's actually animated that, which was nicely done. Huh. Has that done anything? I mean, I assume it's done something, but... There's no more interact points, so... I should probably have read the ribbon, shouldn't I? Almost certainly should have read the ribbon. But I didn't. Alright, let's go see what this shiny door is. It's getting late as well, so I should probably uh, head to bed soon. Is this to a boss? Probably to a boss. Had a guess? Okay, this is it. Or is this a mirror version? Oh, hello. You know what happened there? It swapped my weapon. 
it swapped my weapon when it loaded in, and it really annoys me when it does that. Also, it despawned our... Uh, our critters. Yeah, it looks like we've got a reverse castle, which means that, in all likelihood... Or, maybe not reverse, maybe just a two... Dual world. Because it did say there were two worlds combining, didn't it? The birth of the Fae. So I, I'm guessing then that the, the the statue with the ribbons will be different now. Interesting to note, these guys don't have the wings. Oh no, never mind. Oh, huh, this door's not open on this side. Ouch. Oh my god, what's up with its face? It got some weird kind of underbelly thing. Holy hell. Oh god. Yeah, so there's no council here. I assume this door at the end. And there's definitely a room behind it. Yeah. This floor is mirrored. Hmm. So we can't get through the door over there. There isn't actually a way out in this version. Actually, there might not be in the original version either. But we've got this kind of dark or night version. Which I think is a very cool idea. The question then is, is there like a clue I'd assumed it was going to be a complete reverse version of the castle, but it's not, is it? It's. It looks like just a small section of it.
Okay. So we've got... Do we take these back into the non-mirror world? I guess so. I have to do a lot of guessing in this game. Not the fact that you've got a, a reflected version of it in there as well. Yeah, so it's not a reflection, it's a dark version. Do they have their own? Blue, red, purple. Or green, red, purple. I didn't actually pay attention to what order I picked them up in. But it's definitely going to be red in the middle. Ah. Are these things going to be back in here as well? Mm -mm -mm, chain lightning gun. Okay, that's opened the door here. Don't know whether it's going to open the door in the other version of the world. I see a purple thing. Hello. Oh. Assassin's Seal. Reduces enemy awareness range by 25%. Increases all damage dealt to enemies not targeting the wearer by 10%. Now 
That's a very cool looking ring. Hmm. Assassin Dagger. Aha. Uh -huh. One assumes that is the the clue. Yeah, that, that's going to be the the symbol of whomever it was that is responsible, I assume. And then we can go back to the other world now and give them the dagger. And it's going to be this one. I wonder whether they're just going to step down quietly or whether... I can't imagine that this is going to go quietly. Funky-ass mirror. Right. Let's go piss off some council members. Hi, folks. I trust you have purpose here. Yes. I have news. Tread carefully now, stranger. For Fey law is strict and swift. And you stand to accuse one of its highest ranking members. Uh -huh. To accuse one of us, you must have evidence, new evidence to support your claim. The penalty for frivolous accusations against I found a dagger. Is steep. It is death, foreigner, at least for you. Oh good. Well, we'll just respawn, so that's fine. I'm prepared to make an accusation according to our laws. I don't know whether I should root for the guilty to be found or for your own execution. Hopefully this is enough. Either would be amusing. Proceed. Oh? You are aware I am the head of this council, are you not? is a heavy accusation. What proof do you bring? That symbol. Savan. Is it true? It. Ha ha. I knew it. I am appalled that you would cast aside the law for that. That tyrant. It was for the law that I helped him. The king was a tyrant too. Flouting the law at every opportunity and using uh -huh. us as his shields. I did not foresee that the imposter would be the same, if not worse. Mm. I submit myself to your choice. Best of intentions. We will see that they go easy on you. We will not, Niel. Whatever the outcome or her motivations, Savan has committed treason. If the law is to have any power at all. We must carry it out to the letter. Onaru is right. Oh! That was quick. You have 
have performed your task sufficiently, stranger. Though I fear for what this council has now become. Come now, Nael. We have found common ground before. <laughs> Not enough. But we must move forward. Hmm. Have I done the best thing here? This in thanks for your service to the Fae. Now let us be. Ooh. We have wasted enough of our time on foreigners and falsehoods. Quest completes. And a new dagger. My sword, actually. An ornate blade. I am not against arguing for a second execution. That is longer than I was expecting it to be. I think that's the same sword move set from. Yeah. From the original. Yeah, so that's only open in the the dark universe version. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that was actually really cool, and I enjoyed it a lot. Was there anywhere else here? It doesn't explain though. The statue thing with the ribbon. Oh, hold on. There's now a purple thing there. killed them interesting is that because we new amulet golden ribbon nice increases mod damage by 25% activating mod grants haste for 15 seconds 25% is fairly substantial. Samo Flash. Yeah, the amulets are pretty, uh, pretty pokey. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what's triggered that. It could have been the completion of the quest. It could have been just respawning. I don't know. Either way, I feel we have done everything there is to see in this area. That looks pretty complete to me. So let us return through this magical portally gatey thing. Right. Come and get some. Have you got anything more to say? That's it. For now. Nope. Interesting. It seems his purpose was just to give us that quill. Don't know where he came from. Alright, how do I get back to... Oh, there was an elevator. We didn't go up here. Fell over in my presence. This is just back to the main. Here they come. Yeah. Oh my god. Go. 
destroyed. Jeez, it's a good job that this does a lot of healing. That's it. For now. There's a whole floor level underneath here. Where are my summons? What are they doing? Oh, it looks like they're trapped in the floor. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, right, I want to go to the stone. Traveler. Hello. They don't like it when I help you, but it is the role I must play. Drizia Caliper equals Till next what? Time. The engineer archetype. Engineer can now be selected, can also be chosen during character creation. Engineer. Turrets and stuff? I don't know. Remnants are very kind of movement heavy game. Holding the skill button will overclock a carried or deployed heavy weapon. Overclocking grants infinite ammo, increased fire rates, and a 25% damage increase for 15 seconds. Deploys a Vulcan cannon turret, which lasts until its ammo is exhausted. Turrets that can aim will prioritize targets that the player aims at. Press skill again to enable autonomous targeting. Hold deploys to heavy carry mode. Double press, the weapon is reclaimed. So it is turrets. Or flamethrower turrets. Or impact cannon turrets. Traits. Skill damage, heavy weapon gain capacity. Heavy weapons grant damage reduction to all allies within two and a half meters. Movement speed while carrying a heavy weapon is increased. Using a relic refills ammo. Fortify. Useful. Interesting. So we can put it down and then pick it up if we need to. That's the overcharge functionality. And that's its cooldown timer at the bottom. Yeah, overclock. That was the name of it. How do we put it away? Oh, double press to put it away. Okay. That's kind of weird. I think we'll swap back to... See, the, the traits are cool. Oh, wait, you don't get these. I thought you got these once you'd max them out. But you don't. That's not how it works. So you get the traits for the two that you've got equipped. But why is that one here, then? 
because we don't have that equipped unless i could put points in that don't know don't know approximately 10 hours later right we are back in Lusom, aka Bloodborne Place. We've got one mask, which will help us get through here. And I'm actually going to double check that I'm right with this. Shit. Oh, unless. Okay. Yeah, so light and dark halves, which makes sense considering what we've already seen of this zone. I actually should have probably teleported to that checkpoint. Um, what have I done since the last bit? I went and recorded a zippy zappy run through for the second episode of this series where I, I recreated the steps that I went through in my Yasha playthrough just so that you got something visual to to know this is what I did this is where I went and this is roughly why it took me five hours to do the bits that are missing I got a couple of levels I think on medic whilst I was doing that but that's pretty much about it that I can remember off the top of my head so, let's get our summons out. Because we're going to need those. Because I'm bad. Now. We've got... A couple... Of thingy doors. Super descriptive i know thingy doors there's gonna be some enemies in here isn't there yeah ow they are very very good at surprising me Oh, those are my... <laughs> Me just randomly shooting things that turn out to be my own wisps. Wisps? Whatever they are. I don't know. Uh, we've got this one. Which we can open up. Ah. Uh not actually going to use that yet because that's probably the way forward what i'm actually going to do is huh there's a treasure chest in here Yeah, float within range. I dare you. Where did you come from? Right, that's where we found the first book. Now, what I want to do is go up and onto the balcony. This is it. Now, we discovered that if we... Let's not feck this up. Do that. There's another door here. Bloop. I want to see what is through this one first. Right, this one doesn't have the exclamation mark, so I'm assuming it's a secondary, but I don't really know. Gilded Chambers. Oh, 
Plonk. Well, I think I've changed my armor since I was last on camera with this. I, I don't know. It was yesterday. Right. Checkpointed. Be summoned. The, the fun little difference in Remnant versus other games where there'd be kind of little dead ends is that sometimes in Remnant you get little books in them and those books can often have big clues. Or puzzles or other things that you might need. So it's worth heading over to all the tables, even if it just means that you're going to destroy them. I guess we're going up. Uh. Ooh. 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 Okay. Yeah, still getting a, getting a stuttering feel, which considering we've got over 100 frames per second, um, they, they do need to do some work on the game's performance. It's not experience killing or anything. Another thing is that the game keeps switching weapon sets without me realising it. Any... Alright, there's a curse statue thing over there. Solid charge melee cost upgrade. I actually thought they were bringing out a, a performance patch yesterday, but uh, it hasn't materialised yet. As I said, it's not a huge issue because it it's definitely playable, but also there are definitely issues. So, but that being said, that's arguably par for the course with gunfire. Oh. If these guys do more damage than I do, probably because they're more accurate than I am, which, let's be honest. Huh. I've seen a, uh, a couple of people on social media complaining about the the voice lines, so I'm glad it's not just me that finds them a little bit too much. I'm not going to use the... statue because I don't really think I need to. I mean, it does give me more health regen. Hmm. Not a secret door. Yes, lowering the frequency. Kenneth of those voice lines or giving us a separate toggle slash slider slash something for them oh huh what the 
Where do you come from? Nice tash. Uh, Wonder what that is. Interesting that those can be destroyed. It's possible that there's a certain combination of these statues that you need to destroy. If they respawn, if we use the checkpoints... I suspect I would be right about that. Uh, but for now... They're all gone. And nothing... has happened. It's also possible that there's something up here. I assume we get the secret finding noise. If we do things right. Nice. Level 7 Medic. I see you, Trait Book. Nope. Best thing about the lightning gun? Goes around corners. Quest item. Come and get some. Oh. From an elite. Let's the Red go. Prince is as devious as his parentage. You realise that money has no value, but what we give it? The value is held not by the object, but by the Fey who wields it. Interesting. It has a hole in the middle. Toss it into a fountain, slot it onto something. Plunk. I assume it will be useful sooner rather than rather than later, but you never know. So far, we haven't found anything that's tied to a second run or a different run. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist.
Oh. Ow. Excuse me. Mr. Stabby Pants. Oh shit! My health! God, I hate that voice line so much! Oddly empty. Nice looking, but empty. Like my head. No. Wait. Right. I guess we go down here then. No, Stabby. <laughs> Anything down here? Looks pretty similar tile set wise to one that we've already been in there. Is it purple there? Shit. Oh, has he dropped another coin? I think he might have. Fey Warrior Ring. Increases melee damage by 15%. Just a flat melee damage boost. Yeah, another Crimson Coin Ring. Guess we're going to need more than one then. Or maybe we're going to be able to trade them. Who knows? It's a pity this unloads our green bar. Because that, that's something to do with our healing. I'm not actually entirely sure what. I've not really been paying enough attention to it. I think it's our healing juice or something. Boss. Boss. Enter, mortal. Such as yours are too short to dally with hesitancy. Yes. Know that you stand in the presence of the divine, the true heir to all that surrounds you, and the only one who can stand against the imposter who claims the throne. Uh huh. You may not be of the Fey, yet you reap the benefits of this kingdom with Do we? How? Breath. No, strange one. But these lands and their people draw their life from my own, and shall do so eternally. For none have stood against me and lived. Yeah, it is my hallowed duty to rule and watch over my subjects, just as it is the duty of my subjects to serve. Now that we share this understanding, I will accept your tribute as one who serves. I don't have much, but here. You insult me. Better to have refused tribute at all. Oh. For this offense, you must die. 
Oh shit. Okay, um, well, I, I guess giving him coins isn't enough. Maybe he needs more coins. Maybe I should have asked him what tribute he wanted first. That would probably have been smarter. Is he reset or is he just going to fight us again? What tribute are you talking about? You are not fair, and so perhaps are unaware of the offence which you commit. Okay. I will stay my hand but once. All must sacrifice for the greater good. My burden is to protect, and my subject's burden to bestow honour. Though you be not fair, you yet profit from my blessing. Thus, you are either my subject or a thief. Uh huh. Perhaps even a spy of that imposter. Your next words determine which is the truth. If you shall not offer tribute as one who serves, oh. then you shall die as one who does not. This hall shall be your. Get him, my summons. Ow. He's going to teleport. Yes. Uh, we... Oh, dear Lord. Oh, it looks like... Um. I was going to say, it looks like we actually want to be down there. But then the fire... The fire closed in. Um, mm. So obviously there is a trick to this. What it is, who knows? It is my if you Interesting. The fact that it offers this choice each time. survive that <laughs> how do we survive that and i guess we could use fire resistant stuff Could just roll through it, maybe. That's a no. No rolling through that. Okay. Worth a try. He was also taking quite a lot of damage. So maybe we can finish him off before that. Right, so 
and then we right question are we in any way safe we are not So we're not safe under the bridge. So there has to be... Another way. I'm dealing with this. It's like... Oh, it's an arena! Uh, okay, so we, we just need to stay in the centre for it. Right, so it hedges us in. Okay. And then he appears. Will we be taking constant damage from that? I'm not sure. It is my if you shall... my will not Why can I not use my dragon hearts? Is that what curse does? I guess cursed stops our dragon heart working or something. Oh, actually, all of my, I think all of my side buttons aren't working. That could very well be. I'm just, I'm, I'm just loading up the, the, the mouse software. There we go. I use a Logitech G600 mouse and I've got, you know, it's got numbers on the side and I use those numbers for things like my consumables. So when I was hitting one, which is what the Dragonheart is set to, I was expecting it to heal, but it wasn't doing anything. And I was wondering, you know, is it a curse related issue or... Is it not? If you shall not and it's got nothing to do with curse. It's just that my thing wasn't working. Curse does take a chunk off our max health bar. Uh, 
What happened to my summons then? Did they just get one shot? I don't know. There seems to be a lot of that. I've noted. Still, at least we know that we can actually survive should we actually... Is there any way of knowing where he's gonna... Yes, there is a way. you why did that not dodge so yes our summons our summons are the way of uh... actually i want to try because we're in a big enclosed space let's bring the reaver out for this Let's bring him out now so that we can get the health regen. Medic plus summoner gives you so much health regen. It is my now that we should if you shall Gotcha. <laughs> Frame rate took a nosedive. Forlorn fragments. I wonder what kind of tribute he actually would have accepted, if any. I love the fact that there's ammo over here in a place that we literally cannot get to it. Ah, and this door is now open. Ching 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 ching. ching. Well, he uh, he did work for us in that very stationary boss fight. Which is nice. So what is the through here? Oh, is this just uh, end of dungeon checkpoints?
Yeah, this looks like an end of dungeon checkpoint, doesn't it? So I guess... Yeah, I guess that that's that bit done. Leave dungeon. Well, that was a fun diversion. Bit chaotic. Okay, we can now... Oh, shit. Run for the door! I'd forgotten that the enemies would have... Iron Borough. This looks like the place that I went to originally, the kind of messier half. Guess we're going to fight our way through this. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.